Hi guys, welcome back to Chess the Matthew. So on this video, I will play three games. So here I will play the Indian defense with the move knight f6 e6. So here um, we will attack the queen and again. Here the white intends to fork us with the bishop takes c6, but we will defend it. And again, we'll try to complete our development and we'll capture. And after that, we'll try to castle on the king's side so that we can later on attack the uncastled king of white. And he retreats, so we'll try to advance. And if he takes, then we will, I think, bishop a6 first to stop any king said castling or even to delay so now we can re recapture the pawn and after the knight d4 it actually attacks now our undefended pawn on c6 so we will defend and he retreats and he blocks the a6 f1 diagonal and he tries to castle so we'll stop that because if he castle he will lose his knight and after for example what his move on this position maybe knight to d2 or be okay knight to d2 and i think we will try to uh, control the center with c5 maybe and for example on this position although he can attack our queen so we will try to put our queen into safety maybe queen to d3 rook a6 i mean rook b6 but we have knight i mean retreat just retreat okay so he plays rook b2 we'll try to challenge his rook and for example on his position okay he wants some queen exchanges maybe we will just retreat our queen to c4 or maybe capture first his rook to b2 but for now i will just want to retreat my queen so that there is a pressure on the knight on e2 after we example the castle we, we will capture his rook so he said step and again, we will try to penetrate the position, maybe rook to b1, rook a to b8 soon, and b6 maybe. So we will go first with rook b1, follow up with rook a to b8. For example, after the castle, trying to pressure his uh, position with also a pressure from the a6 to f1 diagonal with our bishop and queen. And later on, we can play rook a to b3 trying to win the pawn on a3 because the bishop was actually pinned but i think this is actually a bad move because there is knight to d2 a family fork with our queen and rooks so what should we do this position um, maybe queen to a4 okay let it be because it was actually a blunder and the only thing that I have on this position is the activity. So I think knight here to uh, e4 attacking the rook on d2 and after for example some exchanges. Still we have an attack to the rook and that rook move is actually a blunder because we have a tactics here. For example after takes and rook takes there is a knight fork on c3. So here after on this position we actually equalize and still after the exchanges we have a passman on the c file and we can use that against this position after win the pawn first on a3 and advance it on c3 and again it attacks the bishop and oh he grabbed our pawn and we shall see in this position now that we are actually a uh, pace up on this position so we will do the simplification and this in-game is actually an easy for us because we have an extra pawn and bishop on this position so after bishop to e5 let's try to counter the king side to create some pass pawn and again uh, maybe king to g6 first tries to have a move on h5 and again for example after some exchanges on this position okay what should he do let's take first on g file and again we'll king move and we'll try to penetrate on d4 and later on we can win this after king to d4 we can push now our pawn but 
we shall see in this position now that our opponent here lost on time so we win on the first game so another okay still we are black pieces on this position we will try another uh opening so we'll try the english defense with b6 and bishop b7 and again it is actually the same idea with the uh queen's indian defense and the only difference here is we have an immediate uh bishop on b7 trying to control the light square diagonal from a8 to uh, h1 okay here we will try to uh, complete our development trying to connect our rooks and here this position tries some exchanges but we'll play c5 first and put a rook here to c8 for example and again after here knight to b5 we will try to grab first the d4 and try to open now the c file and and i think rook c8 soon okay he grab our uh, knight first okay let's grab it with queen takes uh e7 and we'll try to put a rook now to c8 and attack the queen so here in this position he plays queen to uh, b3 uh, attacking our undefended bishop on b4 so we'll retreat oh no there is bishop f5 a double attack to our queen and rook so we will lose a rook on this position okay we are one piece but still the game is not uh, ending because we are not uh, on the verge of checkmate so we will try to attack his knight here although we are now piece down but we will try to distract his pieces on this position and trying to play an open because we have a, a threat on the king side of white because for example after knight to g4 there is a threatening mate in h2 so he defend knight to uh, e5 trying to fork his king and bishop on his position if he didn't see that it's like i said there is knight f3 with a check and a fork to his bishop and for example after king moves again after knight takes to d2 there is a fork so we shall see in this position now that we actually fight back with some tactics for example after queen to d3 we can simply grab his rook to f1 or even bishop takes d5 first with a check i think knight takes f1 is a force on this position so here after king takes we have bishop takes to d5 and after queen takes we can simplify the position for example after bishop takes d5 queen takes uh, d5 bishop f8 attacking his undefended rook on c1 and for example we are ready for the exchanges so after rook to d1 maybe g6 first to have a loop square to our king and we shall see in this position now that we have an extra piece on this position and we, st we are actually winning so after queen d7 we have queen c7 again trying to have some exchange so that we can simplify the position that actually favors us with extra bishop on the board for example here we are winning that queen exchanges because we have extra bishop on f8 so after here we can simply rock to a4 attacking the pawn and after here on this position b4 trying to force the exchanges and tries to have some pass pawn on the a file for example here trying to win that uh, pawn for example after a5 on this position king f3 rook a3 on this position winning the bishop h5 first and again it is actually totally winning for us with extra bishop so the previous game our opponent resigned so again we will try the claimants opening on our game 3 so he plays c5 we will play c4 knight to c3 g6 b3 trying to put our bishop to control the dark square against his dark square control bishop on the g7 so again we will uh, try to have some fully control on the diagonal for example after some exchanges okay, after knight takes d4 we have e takes d4 although it blends our bishop on the b2 but we have a control on the center for example this position and after c takes d5 baby it takes d5 we will play bishop b5 soon 
for example, pinning the knight, and maybe he will castle on the king's side. I think bishop takes first the c6 after we castle, so that later on we can control now the e file with our rook on the e1. So after queen g5, rook e1, maybe ah, there is queen, bishop takes h3, so queen f3 first because our g2 pawn was actually pinned. Although we lose the pawn, but okay, we will play rook f to e1 first to control the e file on the board. And again, trying to pressure the position of the black on the king's side. Maybe uh, he will grab our knight with bishop takes c3. Bishop takes c3, but it only weakens his dark square control on the board. So he wants some uh, simplification because he has an extra pawn. But we will sidestep on that idea because it not favors for us for the queen's exchanges. So queen g3. Uh, maybe he will play bishop to a6 to connect the rooks and to have a fully control on the a6 to f1. But we have rook uh, a to d1 to attack the bishop. And if we grab our knight, then we have uh, initiative. So he retreat and we will try to have some dark square exchanges because he has a hole on his on the black's position on the king side so we actually win that strategy although it attacks our knight and again we will lose a pawn on uh a2 okay let it be so after queen takes a2 maybe knights to c4 uh trying to uh, reach the f6 with a uh, knight to d7 maybe again or even knight to d3 okay it allows us to play knight d7 again we will penetrate now the king side for example after an attack on the rook on f1 after he moves his rook maybe to uh, d8 because rook a8 is a fork so we have knight f6 check on position and after he uh, will move we will play queen to uh, e5 to again tries to have some checkmate ideas for example up there an open check with knight a8 and for example he retreat then there is a checkmate on uh, g7 or maybe he will uh, go to king h6 but we have king g7 check again and rook h5 so again he retreat although i can meet now him in after two moves but we will over press first for example after knight x7 knight f6 check and the idea is after king f8, there is knight e8 and there is a force checkmate against the black's king on his position. So maybe he will resign here on his position with a couple of seconds left on his clock. Okay, he play f6 but still there is queen, f, queen e7 check and after uh, king g8, there is king g7 checkmate. So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe.